Budgets are getting tighter. You need to do more with less. So what do you do? Having a restricted budget can actually be a benefit sometimes. Bear with me for a second. When you have restricted budgets and lack of time actually makes you simplify things a lot more. So what does that simplification mean? That means start talking to your employees as quickly as possible. Start with your hiring managers, because if you can solve their problems, you're doing a massive thing to raise the importance and the profile of employer branding in your organization. Of course, yes, get them to talk about the, the job that they're hiring for, but also with them and their team, get them talking about the stuff that they know about. And that means sharing opinions about the area of specialisms that they work in, what is happening out there in the market that they have an opinion on, and what can they say that's gonna help someone who's looking at that content, learn more about the area that they're working in. But also, how can they actually take that next step in, in their career? And that doesn't necessarily mean joining your organization, of course, that can be a good next step in someone's career. But it also means, what tools can you give them to be better at their job in the next meeting, or the next day, or the next year? And when you do that, you're truly creating valuable content. And that ultimately, earns the attention of the people that you want to join you at some point in their career, whether it's sooner or later. And this doesn't have to cost a lot of money at all. Get yourself a studio. You don't have to have expensive kit to start with. You can use your mobile phones, but just start getting those cameras and those microphones in front of people. And when you do that, you're actually learning as you're building, which ultimately gives you the chance to build up your confidence in creating content, but also it gives you the opportunity to improve that content. And something I hear a lot in entrepreneurial circles is if you're not embarrassed by the first product that you release, then you've released it too late. So that applies for content as well, for sure, because just start creating content, build that confidence, and also just learn what great content means for you and your organization. And you can absolutely do that within your restricted budgets. If you're interested, Get in touch, I'm more than happy to have a conversation about it to give you some advice and of course help you if you need it.